And this is AP focused classes? Yeah, AP online for the kids that live in Waianae Makaha, which is the very first picture you saw over there. And then also some that are in Honolulu right above Waikiki. Okay. And they have no access to technology, so we're going to use a little computer like this one that you're going to take the picture of. And we're going to put them down on the beach with tables and chairs and tents. Keep rolling because you start to see the beauty of the island. That's the Leeward Coast where they live. This okay. is the extreme poverty. This is in the Waianae area. And then the next one will show you the picture of the Honolulu area, the people sleeping in the beaches and everything. Okay. Now, what, what island is the Waianae? Waianae is on Oahu. So okay. One hour well. outside Honolulu. Okay. Best kept secret because Hawaiians is the last bastion. 30,000 of them living out there. One road in, one road out. Okay, 30,000 left. Aren't they beautiful? And they're smart. But they don't come to us with any vocabulary. And that's how come in our Western world, it's hard to get them caught up for AP. So, but some of the kids are so smart that when we say, okay, if you want to take this AP class, you have to learn this, this, and this, they'll do anything. I was there for the um, International Conference on Education in Honolulu the first couple of days of January there before we, uh, before we finalized the program. So, so when, <clears throat> I'll be putting in another one for the eLearn. Okay. Will you be on that? I'm on the program committee, but the um, eLearn isn't organized into SIGs, so it's just lucky to draw what you get. Okay. Um, whereas site is organized into the individual SIGs, so anything that you submit to virtual schooling comes through Leanna and myself. Oh, good. And we fill it, well, first thing we do is structure everything that's not actually virtual schooling, because most people don't know what it is. Um, now, this is Anoki Funaki, who was the UH quarterback for many years, very famous, and he's now graduated and he's come back and he's helping these kids, works with the autistic kids. We're putting in a culinary arts program. It's just wonderful. Now this was uh, St. Louis production of Aida, but a couple of our students are in it. Okay. And then SAT prep, we've got the syllabi here that we're, we developed for it, and animation, and theater, and the Spark Nike. So what our plan is that from 3, 4, and 5 o'clock, they would do all the hands-on stuff. And then six, seven, and eight, they would be in their core classes, their technology classes, their AP courses. And of course, once these kids get into AP, they'll never come back out. I mean, they're so hungry for online. And this is the valley that we live in, so we have to come up with one of these satellites like with Verizon. Okay. And they're used to swimming with the turtle. So getting them to learn. This is a fish pond and they're learning how to recreate the fish ponds. This is a lava tube. So all these things become questions for them because this is theirs. Now Mandarin, we're teaching them Mandarin because it's been proven over the last decade. The children who learn Mandarin at an early age have a higher level of math as they're older. It makes sense to them, it rewires their brain. And the word aloha, the ha, H-A, it means breath. So when someone says aloha, they really are taking care of each other. They're 
giving breath. And then NUVHS is the uh, AP courses. I designed that virtual school in 2003, mm -hmm. and we embed projects into it and everything else, experts. And then the education action research as well, I wanted to have other universities join me in seeing, does this really work for kids that have nothing? So here's how they do their Spark Nike training, their health and fitness. And they always pray. It's unconstitutional in schools, but when these kids are out there, you can't stop them. Mm -hmm. It's a Hawaiian thing. We all join together and we thank whoever. And our, our focus is authentic learning. Hawaii Institute of Marine Biology, Coconut Island. They make their own ukuleles. The old people come and do that, the kapunas. The parents come in and they sit with the children. And this is building their garden. This is a YouTube video about them building their gardens. And they plan according to the moon. Ohana is family. And a lot of them are people who have had rough, rough lives. And now they're trying to make new lives. Mahalo nui loa means thank you very much. And of course in the music again.